as we wrap up this Thanksgiving holiday, I hope all of you had a pretty good Thanksgiving holiday, had some good eats, you know what I'm saying? But while I was sitting down today, I was scrolling through Twitter and I see my boy Your Rage, my boy Joshy, say this, and I quote, Turkey is not trash. Your parents don't know how to cook. Is that is that what he said? I don't I don't know. I don't remember. But I'll put it somewhere up here for you to read. But basically he said turkey is not trash and some people just know how to just don't know how to cook. And I definitely agree with him. I definitely agree with him there. Now this video will cover four mistakes that I've seen people make when they cook their turkey. And I feel like this is gonna be a very controversial topic. I am not the one to be controversial, but I might, I mean, I, I need to shake the room sometimes, you know, I need to tell somebody, hey, if this is the truth, I got to tell them. So these are, I made a list, a list of four things of, of why people, when they make turkey, mistakes they make and why they think it's trash. And the reason they think it's trash is because of the way they make it. Without further ado, let's get into the video and uh, go ahead, like, comment and subscribe, I guess. Do what you want. I, I can't force you. So number one, the number one issue I that I've seen people do when they make turkey is that they set the temperature way too high. Now the average the average temperature that I, that I, my, I, that my family puts it at is at three fifty, three twenty five to three fifty is the best temperature. For some reason, I've seen people put it at four hundred, four hundred. And combine that with the time that they put on there. That's going to make the turkey dry, really dry, very dry. Because it's just going to take all the moisture out of the turkey. You're just going to have sand turkey. You're just going to have turkey. Like when you take it, it's going to fall apart. That's literally what you're going to have. Another another problem I have seen is that there is too much stuffing. Now, I love stuffing. Now, stuffing is a great, great uh, side dish when it comes to Thanksgiving. I love stuffing. It's good. It's really good. I've seen people put it in turkeys. My family put it in their turkeys and it's really good that way. But one thing that they do is they, they put too much. They put too much stuffing. And what is stuffing? Stuffing is basically breadcrumbs. And we all know what happens when bread gets into water. It absorbs the water. So what's it going to do when it's in the turkey? It's going to absorb that moisture in the turkey, right? It's going to absorb that moisture in the turkey. And that all that juices, all the juices that is supposed to make the turkey succulent and juicy is now all in that stuffing. And the turkey is now sandpaper. It's now sand turkey. We don't want sand turkey. We want water turkey. You feel me? Another mistake that I've seen others make is that they are not using a turkey bag. And now you may be asking, you probably never heard of this. What is a turkey bag, Mr. Dine? Well, my family uses a turkey bag. They put the turkey in a bag, right? And now this bag is to retain moisture in that with that turkey. All right, so that the moisture just doesn't dissipate throughout the entire oven. I've seen families not put that. And then when they open it up and cut it up, it's just sand. It's just sand turkey. We don't want sand turkey. You feel me? We don't want sand turkey. And, and I don't want I don't want to be eating like, I don't want to feel like I'm eating sandpaper out here. You feel me? I want to eat something that's juicy, succulent. What? Now, another problem. Too much time. As you can see, that's number three. I added some more. I didn't feel like writing. But too much time. Y'all put too much time on that thing, bro. My family puts it on two hours and 30 minutes. Two hours and 30 minutes is basically that, that, that perfect range when it comes to cooking that turkey. You know, that perfect range. Everything's cooked thoroughly through. The moisture isn't gone if you've done the other steps that I've told you. If, I, if you fix the other problems then this turkey should be perfect. This should be the most juicy turkey. Now I know that time and temperature does vary on the size of the turkey, but the average turkey should be around two hours and 30 minutes to 325 to 350. That's, that, that's how you do it. That's how you do it right there. That's exactly how you make the most perfect turkey ever. Now, the fourth item, the fourth and final item that I think makes the perfect turkey and that everybody should fix this mistake is you're not eating the turkey right. You're not eating it right. Okay. As my friend, as my friend, um, told me over text, he said gravy carried. Now gravy is one of the best condiments ever when it comes to food. Now I might be, some people say gravy's trash. I love gravy. I put it on my chicken, my rice, my turkey. That's number one. You should put gravy on your turkey. And not only adds moisture, but it also adds so much more flavor to the turkey. You feel me? So, hey man, I mean, y'all just, to be honest, y'all just not eating the turkey right at this point. You know, you gotta have, you gotta have the, 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 the. Make up. 
<laughs> you gotta have that gravy. That gravy is what really gives that turkey more flavor. And um, you also you also gotta have the sides. You have to have the green beans, mashed potatoes, and everything. Because if you eat that with a dry turkey, the the, the mashed potatoes gonna get stuck in your throat. You're gonna have a hard time speaking and everything like that. You won't be able to enjoy the mac and cheese. You know, you just got to eat it right. And the way you can eat it right is by putting that gravy. Because that gravy is that missing piece. That missing piece. So I'm going to leave y'all off there, man. The things that y'all need to fix is the temperature. Y'all put that temperature too high on the temperature. Too much stuffing. That, that stuffing is going to absorb all that moisture. Y'all put too much time on that turkey. Y'all put that thing on for three to four hours. Don't do that, man. That's going to overcook it, bro. That's going to overcook it. And it's going to be dry. It's going to be sand turkey, sandpaper turkey. You don't want that. You want succulent, juicy turkey. Then you don't use a uh, turkey bag. A turkey bag is used to retain your moisture. You know, you got to make a moist. You got to have that moisture in there, bro. And then finally, you just not eating the turkey right at this point. You're not putting that gravy. You're not putting them sides. You're not putting that gravy. Put the gravy on there, man. Hey, man. Peace out. 100. Bam. Ha ha. Yes, sir.